So today, me and Billy are going to be doing some suspension upgrades to the Mustang. She hasn't been started up in a few days and it's been cold here in Ohio. So I'm getting the battery charged up and then Billy's got the shop open for me. And we can go ahead and proceed with upgrades. I guess it's a spring. Shiny. Yeah. This looks like the one that uh, I'd use for my quad, but bigger. Yeah. Another spring. Now this one, yeah. That looks like a rear shock. Nice. Little adjusting thingies. <laughs> All right. In the yeah. back, these bolt in place, and then the eyelets here are where you'll bolt the new shock to. I love all the purple. Like this is the most satisfying unboxing for me. <laughs> Those are nice. Those are real nice. Do you put these on your truck? I've got Viking shocks on my truck, yeah. taking off the brake caliber and rotors. Thank 
crimes. You should not be able to do that. Yeah, I'm showing them. Yeah, wiggle that back and forth in there. That's a bunch of play. The only one that really didn't have play was like this one at the top. But I'll be honest. everything matches. I grabbed that thing thinking it was a draggy. <laughs> <laughs> it even has like digital zoom, all that. We're actually reading instructions. Jack up the rear of the vehicle, remove factory shocks, remove the lower shock mounts, install the newer lo new lower shock mount. Install the upper shock mounts in the factory location, their driver and passenger side specific, using the provided 5 8 washer and nut. Those fit nice. Wow. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you should see your spider web you got going on. Dude, I've seen that. There's like some really <laughs> massive spider eggs in there. Oh my god. They're all going to hatch at some point. Where's the brake cleaner? Oh, dude, this stuff's better than Raid. <laughs> brake cleaner! Soak them and kill them. Control arms, upper control arms from Team Z on there. We've got the anti roll bar hooked up. We've got our brand new Viking shocks, the rear coil over conversion. Once the front spindles are done being milled, it should go back together pretty easy. And then you can take it to Lucor and have them put the bump steer kit on yeah. and the other stuff. And then that'll That'll make this car pretty much, I mean, it's pretty damn, pretty damn good. It's a big thank you to Cole. He stopped out and he was just buying some stripper glitter and he ended up helping us put all this stuff in. It's a major help. No problem. Thanks, man. Thought I could help. You getting it? Yeah. All right, so we are back. What are we doing today? We're putting on the front struts. We're gonna put these front struts on today. We had the uh, guys at Viking send us the correct sleeve or collar, whatever you want to call it, to put on the end of these struts. I took some video putting those on. Um, these are just a thicker flange for the wider, the wider spindles that come on the four-cylinder cars. 
which we took the spindles off the black car because we had brand new brakes for those spindles and we put them on. Um, this car came with SN95 brakes and spindles, but they wouldn't work with our 15 inch Bogart wheels. So that kind of put a damper on things. Mm -hmm. um, that was a while back and that's why we're here having these problems today. Because usually, you know, an 86 GT 5.0 wouldn't have those spindles on it, but we've kind of got mismatched parts just what we got so nothing wrong with that just got to pay attention to what you're ordering sometimes so we've come to the conclusion that we already have a bunch of toe out as you can see But there's a there's a bunch of toe out in this thing. That'll make it darty. We're getting it figured out though. We're gonna get this thing going as straight as possible. in order to get it towed in a little. It's okay to have some toe in, but it's not okay to have toe out when you're drag racing. Toe out, like when you're out, it's, I mean, like you said, it can dart either way. Yeah. People wonder why Mustangs are like, they always make the jokes about the crowds, the Mustangs. Well, I mean. Shit like that. From what we saw, this thing had all kinds of issues. Like when I first got it with suspension and just the steering not being straight, like no wonder. But if you, take the time to look it over and do those things and that shouldn't happen. I need some fibs to hold tools of You like my dad. It's so much it's so convenient to have your phone just like right there where we need it. Can you get that off there? Just set it on the control arm. Turn on to the, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now we need to take this off. That's your tie rod in. That's what that's called. Everybody in the comments could be like, oh, you don't have to take it off, but the bolts are in there so that you have to. Because they have to come out this way. Got a hold of that wrench. Fills that back up. Ah, I see. Thank you. I think it's a 19 boss. millimeter. Boss? Oh, that boss. <laughs> Handyman. Kitty! You got the weasel. And the weasel pig. <laughs> weasel pig.
the boat. Even. I'm just going to set it down and see what the master can. Oh god. It's got hella travel. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot more travel than it had. Y yeah. Oh, the ride height's not bad. Actually. These hiccups are killing me. No, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. They weren't tight though. We still need to tighten them. That's uh, definitely got a little bit of negative camber on that side. I'm gonna set those 65 foot pounds, I think that's what they call for. That should keep them tight. And I'm gonna set these at probably 40. Okay. These are a little bit smaller more. Little spanner inch. On the welding table. guys so that is the installation process of the Viking double adjustable crusader kit hopefully that will uh, help me out as far as keeping the car straight and we also got the caster camera plates installed also we have some rear control arms from Team Z everything looks nice I'm excited to put everything to use and test it out this weekend